You guys get one example, and I'll check some work, and then we'll do homework quizzes and anything else. So ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is x minus y is greater than 0, and 4 plus y is greater than 2x. Now, just like we did systems of linear equations and graphing system of linear inequalities, all you guys are simply going to do is just graph these separately. And that's really it. So that's why I mentioned, like I told you guys, I'll teach you guys. You guys can get started on this on your own. This isn't really that bad. It's just extra. It's just practice, practice, practice on graphing. Yeah, so basically you just have x minus y is greater than 0. So to do this, though this one people will make mistakes, to solve for this, there's a couple different ways you can do it. We can subtract x. Negative y is greater than negative x. We've got to solve for y, so I divide by negative 1. Remember, whenever we add, multiply, or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. So now y is less than x. Okay, Very important. That's where most students will make their mistakes. Over here, over here we just, uh, anyway, kind of losing it. Um, we just solve for y, so I subtract 4 on both sides. So we have y is greater than 2x minus 4. Okay? Now, um, to graph inequalities, remember we graph them just like equations. All right? As far as, especially when they're in slope intercept form, the first thing you want to do is identify the y intercept. So let's graph this one first. The y intercept, remember, is a coordinate point that is on the y axis. So my y intercept here is negative 4, so the coordinate point is 0, negative 4. So I go ahead and plot that point first 0, not left or right, the x value is 0, y value is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now remember, the slope is not a point, the slope is a ratio. It is the change in the y coordinates over the change in the x coordinates. So whenever you have a slope as a whole number, rewrite it as a fraction. That means the change in the y coordinates is positive 2. So from this point, if I'm having a change in y coordinates of positive 2, I'm going to go up 2 units. If the change in the x coordinates is positive 1, I'm going to go over 1 unit. Does everybody see how that slope is kind of factored in? Now I plot the point and I connect. But before I connect, I want to look at my inequality symbol. That is telling me that is a greater than, not greater than or equal to. So it's a dashed line. OK? All right, so all right. now the next thing is um, let's do a test point. Now remember, we want to pick a test point that's not on the line. So the best test point here would be 0, 0, right? So let's plug in 0 is greater than 2 times 0 minus 4. 0 is greater than negative 4. Is that true or false? Yes. True. Now, in regular inequalities, we just shaded it, right? Since we're doing two of them, I'm not going to shade it until I'm done with both of them. I'm just going to use arrows. But I know to shade above the line. Since that is true, I shade towards the test point, right? Dermish, why are you not over here? I don't, that's not really, you should be focused right now on what you need to be doing. Then you can always go back and help them. But do you have this homework done? I'm pretty, I'm, you said I can go back and do that. Okay. Now, well, it doesn't seem like you're really helping Colin. That's why I had to interrupt you. Now let's go and graph this one. This one has a y-intercept of 0. And there's no number in front, but we can rewrite this as a slope of 1 over 1. So my y-intercept is 0. Now my slope is positive 1 up 1. So I just continue that. And again, we look at here. It's a dashed line. OK? Now, to use the, um, now the problem we have here is I can't use the same test point 0, 0, right? Because the line is on my test, or the, my line is on that test point. So let's use, let's use the point negative 1, 0. So x is negative 1, y is 0. And you can use any point, really, that you want to. So I'll just say 0 is less than negative 1. And is that true or false? False. False. So therefore, since that's false, I'm going to shade away from the test point. Correct? And what you guys can see is this region right here is the only region that is true for both inequalities. So that's the region I'm going to shade. Yes. Or right, that's what basically we're going to be looking at, yeah, for the solving the system. Okay? 
and if, I mean, if you shade both of them, that's fine. You, you can see like these would be the intersected. You know, if you shaded both, it would look something like that. Here's the shading for one. Here's the shading for the other. Here's where they intersect, you know? Yeah. And that's it. So there's nothing that I've gone over that I don't think you guys can be able to tackle on your own, right?